Makes you smell like heaven. Make sure nuts get licked. What is up and what is percolating party people? As you guys can see in Life HD, it is your host the most, Paul Cantu, back to you guys with a new exclusive unboxing video. Now in this video today, I have a bunch of gear that people who fuck with my channel actually send me. These aren't the most well-established brands, but they send me a bunch of dope stuff, some of which I like, some of which I don't like, but I am here to provide you guys with an honest review and to just show you guys some sick gear that some of my subs have sent your boy. All right, y'all, so the first parcel we have a woo, almost dropped that is from Futura which is actually a really sick dope little sunglasses company so let's go ahead and get Henri the horse to crack into this let's go Henri let's get some UV protection Henri bang bang so we got access into the package right now let's go ahead and crack into some UV protecting shades right here so the first thing we have up in the mix right here is the Futura sticker right there and they sent a bunch of cool astronaut stickers and then back door with all the business information on the back. Again, if you guys would like to check out any of the brands I mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links down below my scrotum. They'll be in the description box below. So <clears throat> they sent a bunch of shades. They hooked it up with more than enough pairs of shades all in little silk bags. So I have actually six of these. It sucks that I don't have contacts in, but these are most assuredly gonna protect me from all the flame I find life in the thrift. So the first pair we have right here is Tortoise, or so it seems. It says Futura on the side. These aren't the most expensive shades to say the least, but they definitely do look really cool. And they also have that really cool translucent tortoise effect right there. So I'm over there gonna be mobbing with squirt and shit all up and finding Nemo turned into a Pixar character just by putting these on my face was good. All right, so the next pair right here is in this nice little orange container. And it's just this really simple clear orange shade right here. These definitely are clean. They have that reflective little tint all up on deck. And they also got the teardrops. So if you guys don't want to catch a body but want to teardrop on your shades, these are definitely a good alternative to catching a body and getting 25 to life in a federal penitentiary. Let's be real. Then next up in this little red package, we have some all clear Futura little shades right here. These definitely look like some Gucci goggles. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on right here. High fashion as fuck. If you guys already can see as is and don't need some prescription glasses, these definitely will be something that can get you geeked up. So you can be in the library and be like, yo, say girl, say dude, what your number is? I'm studious. And I know something fine when I see it. The next up, bang, they threw in the exact same glasses with a clear little translucent and tortoise shell on deck. These are really, really cool. Bang, bang, what's up? The next pair we have are, oh, the light lavender pink dirty Sprite codeine in your soda mixed up looking flavoration right here. So of course you got the one for the pink and one for the stink. So if you're going in there, you're not trying to have your girl like video record you, you can put these shades on and be like, hey, anonymous. Anonymous dope. And then last but certainly not least in terms of shades, they went ahead and threw in the really, really high fashion shades with the gold hit on the side right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on when I wanna go men in black two on them foes. But these things look really, really dope. Thank you again to Futura for all the amazing shades. Y'all sent more than enough. And guys, I do actually recommend y'all check out Futura because these shades are all really dope. They all feel really comfortable and they're right in that middle ground between super expensive and super cheap quality, so they're great, decent quality, and I would recommend it for the price point that they're offered at. So thank you so much for these. And then last but certainly not least, they went ahead and threw in a really sick t-shirt. It's just printed on a nice gilded tee, but it is really sick. It has a little Futura astronaut on the left tit, which is amazing, so I can go explore space while she explores my nip, while I rock and shock this amazing ass pink tee. What up? So I got seen five snapbacks from a brand called URB. Now I only wanted one of these snapbacks because I fuck with this design. The rest I was just sent to do an honest review and that is what I will do. But bam, the snapback I wanted was this really sick gold rush snapback. I do not have a white and gold snapback. So of course I had to go through and get this. The branding on the inside is really sick with all the quality materials right there. So this is straight up Mayan ink and South American gold. Very simple, very clean with the embossed little lettering. I love it. Bam. Now the other four hats, again, I was just sent. I don't necessarily mess with the way the logo is designed, but I got the Coke on Coke all trap queened out little snapback right here. URB brand in black 
with all the little embellishments on the ribboning on the interior of this little six panel snapback. Really cool. Then I also got sent this little five panel. Now as you guys can tell, this is a different looking five panel. It actually has a really high crown, which is crazy. And it has little white snaps on the back. I personally would only purchase a five panel because I would want that low profile look. However, if you guys want a five panel that has a nice high crown, this could be an option. Again, I don't necessarily mess with the logo on the front and I probably wouldn't wear this hat to be honest. But I was sent it and I was told to give an honest review and that is what I will do. And here is another five panel he threw in with a nice black ass leather brim. Again, nice Nice attention to detail this definitely feels like a durable hat however I just personally don't mess with this design but it was sent to your boy and then last but certainly not least I got the style 7 little snapback right here this is a traditional snap they got the little gray snaps on the back Detroit Lions colorway a 7 embroidered on one side URB brand embroidered on the other this actually is a pretty clean looking snapback however I don't have a need for any of these so if you guys would like any of these snapbacks Check out hfv.bigcartel.com. I will have them up there for free. All you gotta do is pay for shipping on all these hats and they will be yours. So I'm not gonna be making any money off these whatsoever. So if you guys would like one of these, I'm not gonna do a giveaway because y'all motherfuckers do not respond when y'all win. So I'm gonna have these four snapbacks on deck. Moving on, I actually got one more snapback to show off from a brand called Blazed LA for all you reefer addicts. But it is a camo little snapback right here with Blaze LA embroidered in. Honestly, I'm not too stoked on the quality of this embroidery or this hat whatsoever. It fits really weird backwards and it was crushed, shipped in an envelope. So I really can't say too much about this brand because I personally don't fuck with that. However, it is a dope looking hat overall. So if you guys would like one, check the link. And then last but certainly not least in this monumental unboxing video, boom! We have a huge parcel right here. Got my name on it with a little accent. Got a little spaceship out of abduct that little stick figure right there. RIP to your asshole, you're getting probed. Let's get into it right now. Henri, I'm sorry, bruh. I already ripped half of it, but finish the job. All right, guys, so the brand that I am featuring, last but certainly not least, is Apathy right here. They got stickers on deck in this really sick envelope they sent your boy. So let's go ahead and crack it open and see what all they included on the interior. Oh, man. They went ahead and hooked it up with a million and one really sick Apathy stickers. I love when the sticker game is insane. So shout out to you, Apathy. Y'all definitely came through for your boy. And then there also is a little note in here. Oh, I love reading to you guys. It's like LeVar Burton times Paul Cantu collabing right now. Let's get it. It says, what's good, Mr. Paul Can too. Hope everything is great. We're super stoked to hook you up with some items from our current collection and can't wait to see what you think. All these items are available on our website. Link will be down below. And they said they made a code, you can too, live. And so all you guys will get 15% off on your purchases. We are super appreciative to have your support and help for spreading our word and will most definitely keep you up to date with our future drops. We stay looking forward to all your content and are pumped for the dope ass videos to come. Keep it up, man. Stay indifferent. The Apathy team with all their signatures on deck. I can't tell you guys enough how I love handwritten notes. It definitely is a really, really dope touch and I do appreciate that. Let's get into these fire ass items right now. So I actually don't remember asking for too many items. However, they hooked me up with more than what I asked for. I can tell you guys that much. They sent me a really sick and really clean Apathy t-shirt right here. Just really simple logo tee, Apathy, white and black. You can never go wrong with it with their own integrated tagging on the interior. This feels very, very soft. Dope tag, really sick, clean, simple shirt. The next shirt they hooked it up with is actually the one I remember specifically asking for. And I am really, really amped on actually having this piece right here. It definitely looks like an abstract piece of art. and It is the Apathy long sleeve. These will go super well with my Jeremy Scott Adidas that I have. It has the primary colors. There's some wood grain insane right there looking like it was straight deforested. Apathy on the back. And again, a really clean tag right there. This is a long sleeve. It's super clean, can match with a lot of things, and I definitely fuck with this piece. The next piece they sent is a trench coat, which is very, very cool considering I don't have too many. It also is in the maroon colorway, which I typically don't fuck with because a lot of times it's A&M or OU, and I go to UT, so hell nah. But bang, it says apathy right there on the chest. You guys may be like, yeah, that's pretty clean, that's pretty simple, then look at the back. Bam! Huge screen printing on the back. It says display and dispose. Established 2014. 
Very, very clean. The interior is super soft with this nice heather gray material. I am very amped on this piece. I cannot wait to rock and shock it, especially because it is finally cooling down in the gray state of Texas. All right, then last but certainly not least for the grand finale, they went ahead and threw in a hoodie. I don't remember actually asking for this, but it's really cool that they went ahead and hooked it up. A simple gray hoodie, again, this says apathy. So this can be worn with any loud thing down below. Really simple little graphic. Again, it can match with almost any style, so I definitely fuck with them, keeping it nice and subtle and clean. So thank you so much, Apathy, for this hoodie. I do not have a gray one in the collection, so this is a must-have for me. I definitely do appreciate all the gear y'all sent out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as you guys always do. Huge shout-out to all the companies that actually hooked it up today. Huge shout-out to all my subs out there. I could not be here without you guys, and I want to stress the importance of y'all so much. Definitely be sure to stay with me. Ride with the team. I will catch you guys next time. Live the dream. Eat ice cream once again, and I am gone. Songs, even a bloody life I rooster And I'm in it to win it So I'm somebody that you should get used